Our journey through the iconic JDM cars begins in the late 1960s with the Toyota 2000 GT. Born out of a collaboration between Toyota and Yamaha, the 2000 GT remains a rare and a revered gem, celebrated for its exquisite design, advanced engineering, and for being Japan's first true supercar. Its design is a marriage of elegance and performance, drawing inspiration from European sports cars of the era. The sleek, low-slung profile, pop-up headlights, and fastback silhouette contributed to its timeless aesthetic. Under its long, graceful hood, it housed a 2-liter inline-six engine, derived from the Toyota Crown. Producing 150 horsepower, paired with a 5-speed manual transmission, it could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 8 seconds, a noteworthy achievement for its time. Production of the 2000 GT was limited, with only 351 units ever built. Its exclusivity added to its allure, and today, well-preserved examples are highly sought after by collectors. The Honda S2000, introduced in 1999, emerged as a testament to Honda's engineering prowess and dedication to creating an exhilarating high-performance roadster. Its design was a harmonious blend of classic roadster proportions and modern aesthetics. Its long hood, short rear deck, and compact dimensions paid homage to sports cars of the past. At the heart of the S2000 was the remarkable F20C engine. This 2-liter, naturally aspirated, inline-four engine was a high-revving masterpiece capable of reaching an astonishing 9,000 RPM. It produced 240 horsepower and was mated to a precise six-speed manual transmission. Its engine responsiveness and linear power delivery became defining characteristics, creating an engaging and a thrilling driving experience. The car featured a 50-50 weight distribution, ensuring stability through corners and quick changes in direction. The double wishbone suspension, along with a front mid-engine layout, contributed to exceptional agility and precise steering. The S2000 was not just a straight-line performer, but a nimble and responsive roadster designed for spirited driving. In the early 2000s, Nissan revived the iconic Fairlady Z lineage with the introduction of the Nissan 350Z. It featured a striking and a muscular design. Its long hood, pronounced wheel arches, and short rear deck paid homage to the Z cars of the past while embracing a modern aesthetic. Under the hood, it housed a potent 3.5-liter V6 engine, generating around 287 horsepower in the early models. This power was channeled to the rear wheels, delivering a thrilling driving experience. It was offered with both manual and automatic transmissions, providing enthusiasts with the flexibility to choose their preferred driving style. Nissan paid careful attention to the suspension setup, resulting in precise steering and a planted feel on the road. Its success paved the way for the 370Z in 2009. The third-generation Mazda RX-7 is a revered sports car that has achieved legendary status among enthusiasts. Launched in 1992, the RX-7 is celebrated for its striking design, lightweight construction, and the iconic twin-turbocharged rotary engine. Characterized by smooth curves, pop-up headlights, and a sleek aerodynamic profile, it is often considered one of the most beautiful cars of its era. At the heart of the RX-7 is the 13 BREW rotary engine, a 1.3-liter twin rotor equipped with sequential twin turbochargers. This unique engine design allows for a compact size, lightweight construction, and high revving capabilities. In its final iteration, it produced around 252 horsepower and two 17 pound-feet of torque. It features a double wishbone suspension system, providing excellent stability and precise control through corners. Despite the end of its production in 2002, the RX-7 continues to be cherished by enthusiasts and well-preserved examples are highly sought after in the collector's market. 
The Lexus LFA, unveiled in 2010, is a masterpiece of automotive engineering that transcends traditional expectations. As Lexus's first supercar, the LFA showcases the brand's pursuit of perfection, craftsmanship, and performance. At the heart of the LFA is a naturally aspirated 4.8-liter V10 engine, a masterpiece of engineering. This high-revving engine can scream up to an astonishing 9,000 RPM. The 552 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque are delivered to the rear wheels through a six-speed automated sequential gearbox for lightning-fast shifts. Its performance capabilities are further enhanced by its lightweight chassis and precise handling. The exhaust note of the LFA is not just a sound, but a symphony, making the LFA not just a car to drive, but a work of art to be heard. It is an epitome of exclusivity, with only 500 units planned for production. This limited quantity, combined with the craftsmanship involved in its construction, makes each LFA a rare and a highly sought-after collector's item. The Toyota Sprinter AE86, introduced in the mid-1980s, has achieved legendary status in the automotive world, primarily due to its association with drifting culture and its remarkable performance on both the street and the track. Commonly referred to as the 86, it is celebrated for its lightweight chassis and a rear-wheel drive configuration. Under the hood, it was powered by a 1.6-liter, naturally aspirated inline four. While the engine's output was modest by today's standards, ranging from 112 to 128 horsepower, it was the car's lightweight construction that contributed to its agile and responsive nature. The 86 gained widespread recognition through its association with the drifting culture, particularly popularized by the anime and manga series Initial D. As time has passed, the 86 has become a sought-after collector's item, especially well-preserved models with the iconic pan delivery reminiscent of Initial D. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8, commonly known as the Evo 8, is a high-performance sports sedan that gained widespread acclaim for its rally-inspired design, potent turbocharged engine, and an advanced all-wheel drive system. Powering the Evo 8 was a 2-liter turbocharged inline-4. This engine produced around 271 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. Mated to a 5-speed manual transmission, the Evo 8 featured a potent combination of turbo boost and precise gearing, allowing for quick acceleration and responsive throttle control. The engine's performance characteristics and tunability made it a favorite among enthusiasts and aftermarket tuners. The Evo 8 showcased Mitsubishi's advanced super all-wheel control system, an evolution of their all-wheel drive technology. This system included features like active center differential, active yaw control, and active stability control, all working in harmony to optimize traction stability and cornering performance. Its success in motorsports, its portrayal in media, and its reputation as a driver's car solidified its status as a cultural icon. The first-generation Honda NSX was a groundbreaking sports car that redefined the expectations for performance, handling, and everyday usability. Honda enlisted the expertise of Formula One champion Ayrton Senna to refine the car's handling characteristics. Its design was a departure from the norm with a focus on aerodynamics, function, and simplicity. The mid-engine layout and low center of gravity, combined with precise suspension tuning, resulted in exceptional handling dynamics. At the heart of the NSX was a 3-liter V6 engine, producing around 270 to 290 horsepower in different iterations. The engine was mated to a 5-speed manual, or later a 6-speed manual transmission, allowing drivers to fully engage with the driving experience. The NSX quickly gained popularity and became a symbol of Japanese engineering excellence. Its success influenced the perception of Japanese sports cars globally and paved the way for future high-performance models. 
The Toyota Supra Mark IV stands as an iconic representation of Japanese automotive engineering and performance. Its iconic long hood and a distinctive rear wing contributed to an aggressive yet elegant aesthetic. At the heart of the Supra lay the legendary 2JZ GTE engine. This 3-liter inline-six, equipped with twin turbochargers, produced 320 horsepower and 315 pound-feet of torque. The engine became the stuff of legends, celebrated for its robust design and tunability. It was renowned for its blistering acceleration, reaching 0 to 60 in just over 4 seconds. The top speed, electronically limited to 155 miles per hour, showcased the car's capabilities. Enthusiasts and tuners worldwide embraced the Supra for its potential to achieve even higher horsepower figures through modifications. The precise steering and well-weighted controls made it a joy to drive, whether navigating tight corners or cruising on the highway. Its influence can be seen not only in the ongoing Supra lineage, but also in the broader context of Japanese performance cars. The Nissan Skyline GTR R34 is a symbol of Japanese automotive excellence and motorsport dominance. Introduced in 1999, the R34 further solidified the GTR's reputation for performance, technology, and timeless design. Its muscular stance, prominent front grille, and signature round taillights contributed to a visually striking appearance. Powering the R34 was a 2.6-liter twin-turbocharged inline-six and produced 276 horsepower, per the gentleman's agreement among Japanese automakers at the time. It was known for its robust construction and potential for tuning. One of the most notable achievements was its dominance at the Nürburgring. The car set a production car lap record of 749 in 2000, showcasing its prowess on one of the world's most challenging racetracks. The R34 became a cultural icon, earning recognition through appearances in video games, movies, and various forms of media. Its association with the Fast and Furious film franchise contributed to its global popularity and solidified its status as a dream car for enthusiasts around the world. 